we have already gone through example 4.6 eh, to look into the efficiency uh, using uh, blade element theory eh, the zeta be and now we want to look into example 4.7 eh, you want to compare between the propulsive efficiencies of a propeller eh, using fruit as well as the modified momentum theory and there's another uh, 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 type of uh, uh, theory that we are going to introduce here eh, to that obtain using uh, blade element theory eh, for section just one we will pick uh, r over r capital r 0 0.4 as already obtained earlier in uh, example 4.6 the following data is gi already given uh, from example 4.6 the velocity uh, in meter per second the uh, omega r value eh, uh, angular um, red uh, speed which is uh, 1.04.7 meter per second uh, a value is 0 0.05544 and a omega equal to 0 0.001 eh. Using e fruit if efficiency from equation 4.59 uh, earlier, eh, we can uh, obtain uh, zeta f. Uh, zeta f, the fruit efficiency equal to 1 over 1, o 1 plus 0 0.05544 because it's actually 1 over 1 plus a. You get 94.747%, right? Uh, using the method of modified momentum theory, MM, eh, zeta MM, local efficiency is calculated from equation 4.61, right? So, you, this is the modified momentum theory, zeta MM, okay, from equation 4.61. Then, you will get the efficiency of the modified momentum theory to be 94.747, okay? You can see... Uh, the zeta f is 94.747 the zeta mm modified momentum theory also 94.747% right the propeller efficiency was calculated in example 4.6 uh, we already got the value of uh, zeta p 83.89% uh, and from the above calculation the modified momentum theory yielded the same value eh, of the local efficiency as the global fruit theory, right? Because the same, we, we obtain the same, uh, exactly the same value, okay? Uh, let us uh, look into the next one, eh, typical propellers uh, performance that will, uh, then we wrap up our propeller uh, theory uh, chapter, eh, typical propellers performance where in uh, this uh, subtopic experimental testing of propellers already started long time ago by Wright brothers during their design of their first airborne flight machine extensive exper experimental work continued and full-scale propeller testing was performed in uh, 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 naka 20 uh, feet wind tunnel uh, in nasa uh, Langley, this is not NACA, this is NASA, eh? uh, NASA 20 feet uh, wind tunnel in uh, Langley, eh? NASA Langley. During the 1930s, uh, some uh, NACA four-digit airfoils were used exten extensively in propeller. So what happened is actually uh, experiments being done uh, to find out what are the suitable propellers for different uh operation of the aircraft eh? so, so different engine different uh, um, uh, flight envelopes uh, or different missions it requires different uh, type of propellers and eh? some of it is uh, having higher efficiencies propeller uh, propulsive efficiencies some of it uh, are not uh, gi giving a good efficiencies at different flight regimes See, so the blade thickness eh, decreases from root to tip uh, for a typical uh, propeller along the blade length eh, as shown in figure 4 to 6 
and uh, which which we already shown uh, last Monday in our previous lecture. The following NAFKA series are used for sections from hub to tip and different uh, NAFKA, eh, NAFKA 4424, NAFKA 2412, NAFKA 009, eh, 0009 are having different uh, blade thickness eh, which is uh, from the root to tip uh, to suit the purpose of the propeller design. Uh, to remind everyone uh, that uh, air fall designations, uh, for example, like uh, I just take one here, NACA 4428. What do we mean by 4428? This number, the first integer 4 in front here, means that the air fall has a maximum camber, eh? uh, maximum value of mean line ordinate in percentage of the chord, which is 4%. And 4% uh, caught uh, maximum camber uh, from the caught. Okay. The second integer, the second number 4 here, means the position eh, of maximum camber in tens of the caught from the leading edge, eh, which is uh, 40%. In this case, it's uh, 40%. Right. If the number is two, 2, right, it means that it is 20%. Right. The last two integer. Okay, uh, this this number uh, two eight denotes the maximum thickness in percentage. Two eight means twenty eight percent. If it is fifteen, it is fifteen percent. So what happened is that after World War Two, the NACA sixteen series airfoil were derived eh, for use at high speed. The four series uh, airfoil are not suitable for high speed. Eh, but um, uh, more and more uh, requirement eh, that uh, demand for high higher speed uh, uh, aircraft that requires a new development of the airfoil. So this series has thin profile airfoil and thus has low drag at high speeds. Eh. Consequently, it is the appropriate it is appropriate to transonic propeller sections near the tip. Eh? Continuous efforts continued where computational analysis side by side with experimental ones are performed. Eh? So from 1950s onwards, uh, computer has already been used extensively eh, to, to simulate and eh, to find uh, the performance of different type of airfoils. So in general, the performance of propeller is indicated by the thrust coefficient CT it can also be indicated by the power coefficient CP and the propulsive efficiency, eh, zeta P. And this quantity depends on the advanced ratio G. Eh, figure uh, 4.9 in the next slide. Uh, sorry, figure 4.9 uh, previously eh, present the propeller efficiencies for two-bladed propeller eh, as uh, clarified it depends on the advance ratio J as well as the pitch angle beta. So this is the uh, figure 4.9, eh, propeller efficiency, efficiency zeta P versus advance ratio. So you have the propeller efficiency up to 100%. Of course, it, it is uh, not uh, realistic. Eh? So uh, the maximum is around uh, eight, uh, 88%, something like that. And you, it is being mapped against the advanced ratio J. Uh, this is for two-bladed propeller. Eh? For different uh, bladed propeller, it has a different chart. Okay, at different pitch angle beta. So this is at 15 degrees uh, beta. Yeah? Uh, uh, the pitch angle beta, right? And uh, and you can also have 45 degrees uh, pitch angle. Uh, beta uh, and this is the shape of the efficiency against the advance ratio J eh? right so what we can say is that the efficiency values are less than unity as expected and since the available power is less than the, the delivered one eh, due to losses 
So these losses are attributed to translational as well as the rotational kinetic energy in the wake of propeller as discussed earlier in fruit as well as the modified momentum theories. Uh, we can say that skin friction and profile drag of propeller blade add to the previous losses as well. So for high speed propellers, where the relative speed, uh, tip speed, eh, approaches sonic values, shock waves, as well as the boundary layer interaction on the suction side of the blade section result in additional losses. Okay, uh, when you want to go for higher speed, there are also other considerations need to be taken, eh, where normally what we can say here, the shock wave, uh, boundary layers, uh, will also result in more losses. For any pitch angle, beta, eh, propeller efficiencies, zeta p starts by a zero value at j equal to zero and increases to a maximum and drop again to zero at high finite value of j as denoted in figure 39 over here. So let's just pick one, uh, uh, 45 degree, it starts at zero j um, uh, with uh, the lowest efficiency going to the maximum and it drops back um, to uh, zero efficiency at a higher advance ratio. So when g equal to zero, then v equal to zero, right? the velocity equal to zero. And consequently, the available or thrust power also equal to zero. Consequently, the zeta p is equal to zero. The other case of zero efficiency correspond to a higher value of advance ratio where j is no longer zero. And this correspond to a high flight speed. The corresponding relative speed coincides with the zero leaf, which in turn leads to zero thrust as well as zero efficiency. For higher flight, which is the uh, forward speed, a negative leaf is produced leading to reverse thrust as shown next in figure 440. Eh? So 440 showing a variation of propeller efficiency with the advanced ratio. Okay. And uh, we can say that the maximum value uh, of zeta p uh, is seen uh, to be around 80 to 85 percent. Eh? However, the value j at which the maximum zeta p occurs depends on the pitch angle beta. This indicates eh, that for a single pitch or a fixed pitch propeller, the efficiency is as high as 80 to 85 percent only over a narrow range of flight speeds, eh? also a narrow range of the uh, advance ratio, eh? the J value, uh, as shown is in figure 4.39 earlier. At other flight velocities, eh, the propeller will operate at smaller efficiencies, eh, with which severely influence the aircraft performance. For this reason, commercial airplane use variable pitch propeller. You have been introduced uh, earlier on uh, Monday, uh, last uh, lecture, uh, on the variable pitch propeller. Uh, in such a propeller, the entire blade is rotated through a chosen angle during the flight and the pitch of the uh, all blade element uh, changes. Uh, such propellers have high efficiencies over a wide range of speed. This is the reason why uh, variable pitch propeller are being uh, selected eh, for aircraft that are having uh, higher uh, speed at the same time having a wide range of speed for their uh, flight uh, uh, mission. However, eh, propellers with variable pitch ar arrangements are expensive and heavy because it is complicated. You need to have control mechanism, you have to have the uh, mechanical parts uh, to uh, arrange the uh, angle of the uh, of the pitch. Hence, uh, small personal airplanes, where cost of the airplane is an important consideration, employ a fixed pitch propeller, which is uh, limited in terms of the 
performance as well as the speed range okay so but it is uh, um, um, low in cost eh? as a compromise in some designs uh, propellers with two or three pitch settings are employed eh? as, as uh, not a variable pitch you can have uh, diff, uh, certain pitch to the other pitch uh, two or three pitch uh, settings are normally being selected so this figure 441 uh, present the variation of thrust coefficient uh, ct versus the uh, advanced ratio j for two bladed propeller with different values of the pitch angle eh? uh, uh, the uh, pitch angle beta eh? 15 degrees 20 degrees up to 45 degrees okay um, and this is the coefficient thrust coefficient ct and this is the advanced ratio j okay and uh, next is a figure 442 which present the variation of power coefficient cp versus j i know it's quite difficult to see uh, over here right? so some of the uh, graph will be very useful uh, when the propeller designer eh, the the engine designer when they want to decide which propeller uh, uh, angle that is suitable for their operation so they will normally use this kind of of uh, chart figure 440 through 442 eh, 440 441 and 442 can be combined and plotted in a single figure for each pitch angle beta and eh? this is shown in 443 right and for each pitch angle beta the efficiency has zero value at both j equal to zero and thrust coefficient ct equal to zero and the condition of ct equal to zero corresponds to axial interference factor uh, where ct equal to zero and the fruit efficiency efficiency zeta f equal to the hundred percent right at small values of pitch angle the thrust coefficient is greater than the power coefficient for any value of advanced ratio on the contrary at high value of pitch angle the power coefficient uh, uh, cp yeah, is greater than the thrust coefficient ct at any advanced ratio j okay other figures eh, for three and four bladed propellers eh, similar to figure 439 441 and 442 uh, can be found in the literature okay uh, and uh, however recent propellers may have other number of blades eh, like uh, what i've shown uh, last uh, uh, monday eh, we have the c-130 aircraft having uh, eight uh, bladed propellers eh, similarly with the uh, a400m uh, uh, cargo aircraft eh. Performance parameters like thrust coefficient can be obtained from the following equations, right? So this is expression equation 491. And uh, at uh, preliminary, preliminary design stages, uh, when the propeller diameter is not yet determined, the speed power coefficient uh, from equation 486A and 86B may be used. And thus, new plots for speed power coefficient as well as efficiency are plotted uh, versus the advanced ratio and two methods for plotting these relations are found in figure 444 and 445 eh? this is the figure figure 444 that provides the locus of maximum efficiency for different speed power coefficient right and uh, it actually show the combined speed power coefficient right cs as well as the propeller efficiency uh, zeta right? uh, for different advanced ratio j eh? so so we have uh, over here the the blade angle right? from 15 degree to 45 degree right um, and uh, this is uh, showing the, uh, the 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 j eh? this is not zeta this is actually j advanced ratio and pitch angle uh, parameters 
the next figure, uh, for figure 445 provides ISO efficiency, eh, lines plotted over constant speed power coefficient and advanced ratio parameter. So other version of speed power coefficient and propeller efficiency curves for different advanced ratio and pitch angle parameters. So the x-axis is the uh, advanced ratio J and then we have the um, uh, um, propeller uh, uh, speed coefficient as CPS, CPS the power uh, coefficient, speed power coefficient and then um, we also have the um, uh, beta, eh, the the pitch angle parameters, eh, 15 degrees until 45 degrees. This, it is showing the similar uh, ISO efficiency lines, eh? so uh, in this uh, curvy manners. Um, the next figure, eh, figure 446, provide values of efficiency eh, at different pitch angle corresponding to a constant speed power coefficient, eh? constant speed power co coefficient. And as we can notice from this figure, efficiency increases by increase in the pitch angle. Eh? This is a, uh, we, we have the pitch angle increases eh? from beta 15 to beta 45. We can say that the efficiency is increases. Eh? Efficiency uh, over here, um, for example, this is uh, the solid line. The solid line here is for beta 15 degrees and the dotted line uh, beta equal to 30 degrees and beta uh, solid and dotted line and eh, this is the curve uh, shown by this uh, um, area, okay, where beta equal to 45 degrees. Right, we want to continue to another example, okay, to make sense of all the information being provided. Eh? So in this example, it is required to provide <coughs> a preliminary design of a four-bladed propeller. You've been given a power uh, rating of 1,965 kilowatt, condition at sea level, and then relative speed uh, at the tip at 330 meter per second. Okay, some of the question already given you a value using meter per second. Eh? Some of it uh, still using kilometer per hour. If that is the case, you need to convert it into meter per second. For the flight speed is 125 meter per second. The uh, advanced angle uh, uh, pi at the root equal to 70 degree and A omega equal to 0 0.00787. You can assume that the chord distribution is linear with the following defined section, right? So uh, C uh, 0.3H equal to C 0.75H, eh? uh, which is equal to 0.054D and at the mid uh, section it is equal to 0 0.074 D where D itself is actually the propeller diameter and H is actually the the blade height okay the blade section has a lift and drag coefficient eh? CL equal to 0 0.85 and CD equal to 0 0.035 okay at 0 0.7 radius uh, it has a pitch angle of 40 degree and the following data. Okay, thrust coefficient, uh, CT 0 0.1764, propeller efficiency given to be zeta uh, B equal to 0 0.885. Angle of attack is constant along the blade height, uh, which is given as alpha equal to 3 degrees. Okay, you have to calculate five things over here. The first one is what is the thrust force, okay? And then you have to find the propeller diameter and rotational speed. And then you have to find the blade height, the cord, and the advanced angle 
pi along the blade length and the truss distribution along the blade height. Okay, it's quite a massive uh, exercise over here. Right, solution. The thrust force can be obtained from the relation. So, uh, this relation, uh, uh, the thrust equal to propulsive efficiency times the, time the power divided by the, the speed. Okay, 0 0.85 times 1765 times uh, 10 to the power of 3. Okay, divided by the speed 1 to 5. You get the thrust force to become 12,000. Newton. Do not forget to you put the unit. Eh? Some students forgot to put the units and everything be become haywire. Alright. So, uh, then uh, for 2A, we want to find the rotational speed limit. Okay. So using the expression, uh, this expression, you get UT to become 305.4 meter per second. So ND become 97.2 meter per second. Then that is, uh, um, you can get the value of J, the advanced ratio, since you already got ND, right? And it is 1.285 uh, value, okay? The advanced ratio doesn't have any unit, okay? And then we go into the power limit. We relate back equation 481 and 484. We will get uh, the end value to become 40.155 revolution per second RPS. And the diameter is 2.423 meter. And the thrust coefficient TC, okay, uh, you get uh, 0 0.1068. And uh, uh, for B value, you get 0 0.1278. A value, you get 0 0.0. 639. Eh? Forward speed is uh, V uh, times 1 plus A. So you already obtain A over there. You can get 132.99 meter per second. Okay, this is the value of V plus 1 uh, plus A. For the rotational speed, eh, UT, okay, um, uh, you know that uh, you can get the UT value equal to 302.95 meter per second using the expression to obtain uh, the uh, advanced angle, right, uh, pi. You can then get it to be 23.7 degrees. At the hub section, uh, assuming the interference factors a and A omega are constant. You can get at the root section. Okay? The tangent for the advanced angle at the root equal to 2.747. After putting all the numbers inside there, you get this value. And then you, uh, to continue, you get UR at the root. Uh, um, it, it become to be, uh, to be 48.79 uh, meter. Okay. And the, you can uh, use this expression, d root over d tip equal to u root over u tip equal to 0 0.161. Then you can get the uh, d uh, root, the uh, diameter at the root equal to 0 0.39. That leads you to uh, the formula for, for the blade height, okay? The blade height h um, uh, to become 1.016 meter. Okay. Uh, with regard to the cord length, okay, you can uh, uh, write the expression. Okay, C zero point three h equal to C uh, zero point seven five equal to zero point zero five d is given already earlier. Eh, is then uh, you already got the d value. So then you get at uh, the cord length at 0 0.3 h to become 0 0.131 meter eh? and then at the half height it is a 0 0.179 meter and eh? the cord length and eh? the cord length for for uh, 0 0.3 h and 0 0.5 h so uh, linear variation of cord is displayed here okay so uh, from the tip to the root 0. Uh, from the root, you can 0 0.3 h, 
the C over D, okay, the cot, the cot over the diameter equal to 0 0.084, okay, C over D over here is uh, 0 0.074, and C over D at 0 0.75 equal to 0 0.054, the same, same uh, uh, C over D, okay, for 0 0.3 and 0 0.75. Okay, and then we can uh, put it in the table and the variation of chord which is calculated uh, from the known values at mean blade section at 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 uh, blade height above and tabulated in table 4.9. And this is generated thrust from different blade section at uh, station 0 0.1 until, until 1. Okay. To continue eh, to find the advanced angle eh, uh, pi at the root uh, 0 0.75 r uh, the at the root where uh, radius equal to 0 okay um, pi equal to 70 degree beta equal to 40 degree thus at 0 0.75 beta minus alpha eh, alpha is uh, 3 degree beta is 40 uh, you can get 37 degrees eh, for advanced angle at 0 0.5 R. Also at the tip, okay, um, pi T at the tip equal to 23.7 degrees. Okay, at any location along the blade, eh, you can have a uh, um, U uh, X location. Okay, you can uh, then get the value of the advanced angle for the uh, location on the blade. The distribution of the angle are given in table 4.9 and eh, the one that we have all shown uh, earlier, right? So you, um, you can then get the thrust force distribution eh, dividing the blade into 10 increments for 0 0.1 until 0 0.9 eh, uh, um, into 10 equal, equal increment then the change in the radius equal to the uh, height of the blade and 10 equal to 0 0.10 meter from equation 451 thrust increment for each blade element is expressed as follows okay and then we have this expression that we get 4.333 newton per meter okay this is the the torque and um you can put inside the expression for the uh, the thrust eh, according to the uh, uh, radius location. So the torque distribution uh, given in table 4.9 and the total thrust uh, equal to 11,994.24 Newton, right? Is roughly around 12,000 Newton, okay? And the summation of the thrust increment obtained in table 4.9 yields nearly the same design value 12,000 newton the assumptions set earlier are satisfactory so if you go quickly go back to this um, uh, um, table eh, these uh, values of thrust at station 0 0.1 180.25 newton and then followed by the second station the fourth station until the the final station at the tip you add on all of this value okay you will eventually get 12000 uh, newton okay which is which is here so if not okay uh, then an iteration procedure is to be employed by varying varying one of or more of the following variables eh, such as the flight speed or the cord length of blade the airfoil section which contributes uh, different leaf and drag coefficient. The last example eh, for today's session is example 4.9. Okay. And uh, aircraft uh, is uh, flying at a speed of 540 km per hour. Again, the moment you see km per hour, try to convert into meter per second. Eh, it is powered by three bladed propeller 
developing 1,600 kilowatt. Yeah, propeller is connected to a piston engine rotating at 2,600 RPM through a 1 to 2 gearbox ratio. The propeller is designed with blades NACA 5869, uh, which have 9 blade section. Eh, so, sorry, NACA 5869-9 blade section. Eh, the number of blade is 3. Okay. At the location of 0.75R, it has a pitch angle of 35 degree. Beta equal to 35. Use the given chart. Yeah, you are going to use a chart uh, given uh, in this particular question for speed power coefficient to compute in the propeller diameter and the efficiency of the propeller at this operating condition. So given density of air at sea level is uh, 1.225. So this, uh, I do not know why uh, the uh, one point becoming one uh, dot dot. Eh? Okay, I'm very sorry. Uh, two to five kilogram per cubic meter. Probably because of the font that I'm using. It just convert everything. Eh? So the flight speed as given is uh, uh, 554 kilometer per hour. So it's become 150 meter per second. Eh? This is not equal. Eh? This is meter per second. Uh, supply power is uh, 16,000, 16 million eh, watt. Eh? Okay. Uh, propeller rotates at the uh, half of the engine speed at 1,470 RPM or 24.5 revolution per second. And the speed power coefficient can be calculated from this equation, right? And it, you, got, you will get 2.5. From uh, figure 448, the maximum efficiency at the calculated speed power coefficient is determined by interpolation, right? So you need to interpolate uh, the values and equals 85% at the advanced ratio of 1.6 and pitch angle of 36, right? So you can refer to figure 4.48 and then we can trace it back and then the propeller diameter can be found to be 3.826 meter um, and if we look at figure 445 eh, provides the the same results right so this is figure 4.48 okay so if we trace back just now the value okay this is the value okay it coincide uh, to this location eh? uh, the pink one the uh, purple line and the green line so it is coincide there okay and uh, you can then read the values uh, correspondingly okay so that's wrap up our uh, to wrap up our uh, topic on propellers basically uh, we have gone through uh, quite a detailed explanation eh? even though it is not um, we didn't go through the derivation. It just uh, I introduced you equations uh, and more equations. Uh, some example already given, right? Probably later on, uh, uh, Dr. An can can share with you some exercise eh, to to make full use of the equations uh, that we have already gone through. And uh, to wrap up our session, basically this uh, propeller chapter focuses on aircraft propellers and since piston engine alone cannot support aircraft flights a propeller is installed either directly or via reduction gearbox to piston engine uh, we have already covered basic theories for propellers uh, aerodynamics such as momentum um, uh, theory modified momentum theory as well as the blade element theories okay so thank you very much for your attention. I, I understand it's quite difficult to uh, go through uh, theories, uh, especially in the afternoon session. Eh? So maybe it's best for you to, to refer back to the uh, notes and uh, as well as the videos that being uh, prepared by, by Dr. An. So with that, I believe we uh, can end our session today, right? So. Uh, we will continue on the chapter number 6 eh, uh, in uh, next Monday. Uh, 